We've been waiting for this since 1985. Competitive Super Mario Bros. speedrunning live and in person. Eight of the world's greatest speedrunners on eight original Nintendo Entertainment Systems combined onto one screen. A new era in retro esports. This is the first Super Mario Bros. Invitational. By the end of this video, the Any% Percent Champion will be crowned and take home the grand prize. Let's review what's happened so far. And Cosmic with the flagpole glitch puts him into striking distance. But will he be able to catch up entirely? Some West and Scalpel are tied to the frame in first place. Nitsky one frame roll behind them and Cosmic one frame roll behind that. Oh, it's gonna be close on, oh no! Some West has ran into the Potaboo and Nitsky takes race number one followed by Kriller37 and Jeremy who both got the fire flower for safety. Cosmic and Scalpel tied to the frame coming into 8-4. Nitsky one frame rule behind them. It's gonna be close, but holy cow, that's Cosmic ran off the pipe. He's going for the one frame wall jump. He has 1 60th of a second to jump and he gets it. That puts him in the lead and he holds on. Cosmic, Scalpel and Nitsky all with sub fives in live competition. That was incredible. Jeremy skipped the fire flower this race. He's staying small and it's paid off. He is two frame rules ahead of Sum West now, but oh, the hammer bro. And Jeremy has a commanding lead now. A seven second lead. This is just gonna be straight in and oh no, Jeremy, why? That's, oh, he wanted the sub five in competition. It's supersonic Rupert and Nitsky now. Uh, that was heartbreaking. And Jeremy with a chance for redemption. He's two frame rules ahead here, followed by Nitsky and Sum West who lost time on the turnaround. It's all eyes on Jeremy now. Can he hold it? Will Bowser stay out of the way? It's looking good. Oh no, it's not Bowser again. That's unbelievable. It's Nitsky, Sum West and Cosmic now. What a race. And Jeremy misses the wall jump. He hit the right pixel, but a frame late on the jump. That's Scalpel in the lead. Nivsky right behind him. And Scal Scalpel overshot. He missed the down press. That's Nivsky in the lead now with just two rooms left. And Nivsky takes first place yet again. His consistency is just incredible. Scalpel's in first place, two frame rules ahead of Jeremy and Cosmic tied for second right now. This jump could be tricky, but they all make it. Scalpel now, oh, oh the Paracoupa gets Scalpel and C Jeremy missed the jumps in the bin. It's Cosmic now, two seconds ahead of Sum West. Yeah, Cosmic just gonna take his time here. Supersonic is several seconds behind and that's, that's a first place finish for Cosmic. His second first place in this tournament. And now with six races down and two races to go, it's time for the penultimate race in three, two, one, go. Some pretty nice starts there. All right, still three, oh, a little, little misstep on the musher there for Kriller. Gonna get through this underground section. Oh my gosh, that's still 380. Wow. Very well done, okay. This is the second last race. A lot of points are on at stake here. Oh man, okay, we're gonna see how they make out here. It looked like five of them might have been tied. Let's see if anyone lost one. Nope, five tied. Nivsky, Sunwest, Jeremy, Scalpel, and Cosmic tied to the frame. And the mushroom crew just behind that. This part here is actually deceptively difficult. I died here many thousands. Oh, well. Maybe not deceptively difficult as Jeremy picks up a death in that. And Scalpel grabs a death from the piranha plants. Gotta watch out for those guys. And Cosmic lost a little of time, so we're already getting a pretty good separation of players here. It's quite a spread. Nivsky in some ways tied. And Cosmic one frame rule behind that, one third of a second. Cosmic showing off where the invisible one-up is on this level. Yeah. You won't believe my coin count if I told you Not that. for uh, setting the conditions for some good no, luck later. That, that, there is no reason to hit that one as far as I'm aware. Just that's a nice solid level right in the middle of the run. Just a little breather. Not much can go wrong there. This part is tricky. They're going to have to be doing some bumps and trying to get the wrong warp. Scalpel with the flagpole glitch. Yo, Very well done. Yo, yo. Excellent. GG, man. Nivsky and Sunwest tied. Cosmic one third of a second behind them. 
All right. Looked like uh, Nifsky might have missed the bump. Yeah, that's going to cost him. And Sunwest and Cosmic take the lead over Nifsky there. I didn't know if I right or wrong warped or not. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm interested, Sunwest and Cosmic, I'm not sure if they're tied or they're going to be one apart coming into the 8-1 here. And they're tied. They're tied, same frame rule. And Nifsky 1.7 seconds behind him. No, no? scalpel. You right warped. Did he? Oh that no. pipe jump, a little tricky. You do a big pipe jump and then a small pipe jump. That's the, I don't know, that's how I remember it. That's the setup so that there's only two Goombas there instead of three. The double uh, double shells for that? Yeah, yeah, you want to bop you want to bop those Koopas and then you'll only get two. That's a hard pipe jump. They both got it. Nifsky with a little slowdown gonna lose a, um, a frame roll in this level. Probably worth it to be safe. But I think some Western Cosmic being right Tied. Right tied for first. Tied for first at this point. We'll have to see if one of them lost a, lost a rule. Bad I judges. I wish I knew what frame rule uh -huh. I was on. Right. Judges yeah. are when, oh, yeah, so it, in that level, you there's kind of a 50-50 chance if you're gonna be as fast as you can possibly be. So they think of it as like judges holding up a scorecard at the end, like you did great or you did bad or something like that. That's my understanding. Sunwest and Cosmic still tied. Both make that jump. Very tricky. See if any of them get a shot. No, nope. no bullet, Bill. Please, bros. I don't know what you do. And Nifsky just two seconds behind him. Rupert lost a little time on those stairs, but that's okay. He had to avoid fireworks there, I believe. That was that, was that in movement in the air. So, I do believe that someone's lost the frame rule there, so Cosmic is now cleanly in first, coming through 8-3. See how the Hammer Bros are? These Hammer Bros have not been nice to someone throughout this entire tournament. Oh, that's... I, I cursed him. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> and Cosmic again with the lead coming in day four. Just got to cleanly do it. For the last time, let's bring Bismuth on to explain why the runners are slowing down in 8-3. Fireworks go off at the end of each stage if the remaining time ends in a 1, a 3, or a 6. On a 3 or a 6, these fireworks delay the transition to the next stage, which loses time. Completing 8-3 without stopping would end this stage with an in-game time remaining of 2.43, so runners intentionally slow down, either by releasing B for a slower jump or by brushing against the last step. It's unbelievable the consistency that we're seeing here with these, like, right at five minutes. It's very difficult to beat this game. I'm impressed with every one of these runners. I know. <laughs> they have all been doing a tremendous job. Cosmic with the wall jump, and Nifsky, very well done. In the turnaround, Please. avoiding those cheap okay. cheats, very well. Yeah, it looks like Sun West is gonna call it there. Cosmic, Nifsky, Kriller, Supersonic, and Rupert 83 in the end here. A little time loss on the pipe entry, but not gonna hurt him, I don't think. He can afford it, a whole two seconds, two and a half, Oh no, that's close! Oh, and he still gets it. Though. Under Very the well done. Had I'll the time. It. it was worth it. It was worth it. Very well done. Good job, Kriller. Nice, dude. And Kriller with the third place. Very well done, Rupert. Good. Five ten. That's not. That's that's not easy to beat the game that quickly. Okay. And in this setting, well done from Jeremy of five thirteen. Here comes Supersonic. No lost time on that pipe. No. Very well entered and that's where the fire fire mario comes in handy well done well one thing we've learned about these speed runners is that they have all these talents outside of just speed running scalpel solvent cubes blindfolded kriller the juggler honestly that's one of the best parts about having these in-person events we get to all i don't know come together and have a good time it's awesome Ooh. Oh, okay. No worries. We'll call it here. Cosmic picks up his second win in a row, but Nifsky's incredible consistency through the entire tournament has paid off. Nifsky has finished in first, second, or third in every single race so far. 
but the battle for third place is very close. Scalpel unfortunately picked up a quick death to a piranha plant in 1-2 and missed the wrong warp, which put Kriller 37 and Supersonic now tied for third place. Before we continue, I want to thank Charles, Christian, and Pixel Craftian for their YouTube super thanks. This event was extremely expensive to host and produce, and that's ignoring the hundreds of hours of engineering effort to develop the technology. I would love to host more tournaments and expand this to other games and consoles, but I cannot do that without your support. Thank you for your consideration. And now, back to our last two player profiles. Cosmic is here today and probably needs no introduction. He first achieved the world record in Super Mario Bros. Any% on October 4th, 2016, and has held it four times since. The longest being his 455.646, which stood from January 17th to November in 2020. Yes, dude. Yes. I did it. Cosmic has been a longtime supporter of this project. He even commented on the very first public discussion back in September of 2020. Thank you for being here and for everything you do. Rupert83 is the current head moderator of the Super Mario Bros. 1 leaderboards on speedrun.com. An extremely valued member of the community, Rupert moderates at least 10 different games and categories. As a speedrunner, Rupert83 has incredible endurance and excels in longer categories, such as beating Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, 2J, 3, and Super Mario World 100% in 4 hours and 6 minutes, which is the current world record. I did it. Oh boy. Founded in 2012, the European Speedrunner Assembly has been holding charity marathons and speedrunning events for more than a decade. As an organization, ESA has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for many charities, including Alzheimer Fonden and Save the Children. Their world-class events have celebrated speedrunning across Europe and the globe. Thank you to Frederick and the entire team for your selfless contribution towards the prize pool and towards bringing everyone together for this event, simply for the love of speedrunning. Thank you. And now for the last race in three, two, one, go! Almost all together, exactly. Yeah, very good starts that time. Three mushrooms yet again. Kriller, Supersonic, and Rupert getting the mushroom here. Looks like some pretty good ways through there. Looks like Scalpel on track to get all of the coins that he wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to get the right number of coins. Some of these guys route out how many coins they're going to get throughout the race. Oh, and the juggling in the middle of the race. Four balls. That's five. Well done, Kriller. Let's go. Let's go, dude. That's the thing about having a break in the middle of the race when the next level loads. Okay, we have our SunWest, Jeremy, Nivsky, Scalpel, and Cosmic are tied. And Rupert, Supersonic, and Krill are right behind that. All five of them tied to the frame. Oh, but it, it does look like Scalpel lost a little time on that pipe jump. Yeah, they're doing very well here. I'm impressed with the consistency through 1-2 even. That's a, that's a tricky one. So Scalpel lost a second there, uh, the rest are tied. I saw, hey, I saw some Makitu murdering going he had on to go. that time. He had to go. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, just, he just had to go, man. I can't believe these runners killing Lakitu in cold blood. Making their way through 4-1, though. All off the top of five pole. Ah, Supersonic lost a little time on that stairwell. Those stairs are tricky, especially to take at full speed. I've never taken one with full speed. <laughs> I, I actually still struggle at the end of like the underwater levels and stuff. You come out and then you got to do it. I don't know. I still struggle with that. Looks like we got some good bumps here in 4-2 though. The bumps are to push Mario forward on the screen so that when he goes down the pipe, he ends up here in the warp zone. 
Does look like Jeremy and Wes lost a little time there. But Cosmic and Nitsky tied right on top of one another, heading into 8-1. Yep, Jeremy one frame rule behind our leaders, Cosmic and Nitsky, and Wes two behind Jeremy, and Scalpel one behind him. You see, Nitsky has been taking safe strategies in 8-1 this whole tournament. I think that, I mean, it's paid off. Has he? Yeah, I've, I've seen him slow down in 8-1 almost every time, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think that I can't argue with it. He's in first place in the tournament yeah, right now. Yeah, it's working out. I mean, it's a good way to just avoid dying in 8-1. Just, you know, take a little extra time. Cosmic booping the, or bopping, excuse me, the Koopa there. Cosmic will take the lead here. It's just, can he keep it? I believe. You believe? Okay. All right, Cosmic in first. Nitsky two frame rolls behind. No one wants to go for bullet bill on this last one. I mean, I can't blame them. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a random chance if you get. Oh, Kriller's doing it. Kriller, we gotta watch Kriller. Oh wait. Oh. oh man, I saw the shot. Okay, Cosmic in the lead by two frame rolls. Nitsky behind him. Wes one behind Nitsky, and then Jeremy one behind that. See how these hammer bros are? Are they going to be kind? Look pretty kind so far. Four more to go. Get over the first two. Man, the hammer bros want to see them best one another in 8-4 here. This is, this is very close. This is very exciting. Coming down to the castle on the last level. I'm just glad that the uh, hammer bros didn't hassle, hassle Sun West. This I know. They've been so rude to Sun West the whole time. So Cosmic has two frame rolls ahead of Nifsky. One ahead of Sun West and Jeremy one behind that. They all make the jump. Now the wall jump. It's coming down to the wire. They're over. Yeah, we're going to see. Cosmic wall gets jump. it. Wall jump. Some... Four wall oh, jumps. Four of them. Scalpel Five. right behind. The turnaround. Cosmic still. Oh, Nitsky misses. Oh, Sun West takes the, the lead. Nitsky missed that jump and lost two positions. Cosmic coming. A whole second ahead of oh, <laughs> oh no, no. The fire bar, unbelievable. Cosmic with a gap of almost two seconds. Yeah, Cosmic with about two seconds ahead of Jeremy and Nitsky who are battling out Speaks for second right and third. Right underneath Bowser. Well done. That's the best time. Oh, of the and thing. Scalpel takes third place right from Nitsky there at the very end. Well done. 4.58.7. Was that the fastest time today, or did we see a 4.57? No. I think no. that might have been the fastest time today. Oh, wow. Bro. Bowser jumped, so it went under. Oh, my uh, gosh. So bad. An un that was, that was, that's an unbelievable commanding performance from Cosmic there with a 4.58.7. That might be faster than I've ever beat it in this live set, and he's doing it in this live setting. Well done. <laughs> Tremendous. And some West coming through. Bowser is kind the second time around. Okay. I just checked the point totals, and it looks like Supersonic and Scalpel are going to be tied in third place with 37 points. That will lead to a tiebreaker after this race. Man, those uh, Mario's hitbox must be smaller than I realized. Winning over those fire bits like that. Yeah, Mario's hitbox is a bit smaller, as well as sometimes not all the hitboxes are there. Nice. Bowser went forward, oh, and a nice yeah. finish. From and the final race is officially completed, and what a race it was! Cosmic with a 458.7 picks up an extra point for having the fastest run in the entire tournament. But his run of the last three races was not enough to overcome the current world record holder, Nifsky, who finished in the top three in every race except for this last one, and officially claims the crown and is the winner of the 2022 Super Mario Bros. Invitational. And after all is said and done, Scalpel and Supersonic are tied for third with 37 points each. Let's go to a tiebreaker, head to head for the last spot on the podium in three, two, two one, one, go. Oh, 
yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So they might be off screen from one another for the majority, but that's okay. Still going for the mushroom. This, okay, this has paid off in earlier parts of the tournament. Yeah. Going for the, you know, I think going for the consistency is important. But it'll be interesting but it, how it scalpel gives, does. It gives scalpel a lot of leverage it to gives, take things a little easier. Exactly. It gives scalpel four, about two maybe? seconds oh, that he can play with. There's no shot it's four. We're yeah, gonna have to three, see. Actually. Hey, no helping scalpel with patterns from the <laughs> other runners, okay? <laughs> He's gotta go on his own hammer bro knowledge here, alright? Alright, scalpel coming through. Yeah. <laughs> No, see, the thing is, Nipsky knows too much about this game. He could tell. Oh, there's the death. Oh, and this is what the I'm talking about. The mushroom's paid off. Look at Already. this. The fire, fire flower. flower is supersonic. And so much. Like, that's so Four much Four seconds ahead now. Oh, wow. And he's got the uh, the life he can lose. He Exactly. He has quite an advantage here coming into 4-1. Oh my god, supersonic! How could you? <laughs> <laughs> How could you in the tiebreak? Oh, and Scalpel killed him too! Unbelievable! He's a murderer! Not a lot of love for Lakitu. <laughs> no! What is happening? Unbelievable. Don't even think about it, supersonic. You'd lose time if you killed him the second time, okay? <laughs> All right. And Scalpel, st seven and a half seconds. It's gonna be hard. Ah, missed it. It was very close, though. Yeah, he, he managed to clip into the block a bit, a bit, but the flag still coming down showed he missed it and lost the rule there. So, Supersonic, a good eight seconds ahead at this point, yeah. that That's pretty clever. That crouch pushes him forward so that he doesn't have to do as many bumps. I saw that. Yeah, and a nice clean entry there. Oh, Scalpel grabbing the Fire Flower. I think he has to, he kind of has to count on Supersonic making a mistake. That's the only way he's going to make up these 12 seconds. Ah, oh, but capture that no. mistake. Oh no, looks oh. like, yep, Scalpel right warps. Okay, Scalpel forfeits. And our podium is completed and it's Supersonic who claims third place. It is incredible to see the safer, more consistent Fire Flower strategy paying off. So it is Nifsky in first place, Cosmic in second, and Supersonic in third. And now it's time for the prizes. Excellent job, everyone. So, somebody else, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so, all of the prizes are in binary, so he gets a fresh $2 bill. Who was seven? Rupert. Congratulations, Rupert. Well done. Thriller in sixth. He gets four dollars. We're doubling now. Doubling now. Jeremy in fifth place. Congratulations. Well done. Okay, scalpel in fourth place. And in third place, Supersonic. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Cosmic in second place for 128. And of course, in one bite, 256 for Divsky. Congratulations. Well done. And. You also get a second present from uh, one of our main sponsors, from Derek here. Yeah. Yo. Sure. Can I open it right now? Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. Thank you guys so much, and thank you all so much. I hope that was fun, I don't know. Thank you for watching, commenting, and all of you who have supported the project in one way or another. The Any% Percent Tournament is complete, but the Warpless Tournament is still to come. And this whole thing was just the beginning. In fact, our next tournament is already being organized, and we might be closer to you. Maybe you'll consider joining us. Subscribe for an announcement very soon, and join the Discord to keep up to date. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to all of the runners who came out to compete. They put on an incredible show, and everyone was just so awesome. Thank you to our sponsors, who all contributed in a ton of different ways and are all appreciated. Thanks to Bismuth for lending his expertise and voice to the project, and a massive, overwhelming thank you to Anthony for editing these videos together and putting together the graphics and just so many things. 
These videos would never have been possible without his incredible work. Thank you. Thank you to everyone I couldn't mention, especially Amanda, and share the video so we can make the next one even better. Catch you next time.